I have to make an observation. CNN makes a lot of noise about ISIS and terrorism, and yet, just as they're making noise about this, take a look, folks. You've got people right here who are domestic terrorists, white supremacists, right here in our own country, right here, there. See that? FBI arrests white supremacist guards for tar targeting blacks. KKK guards arrested for plotting black inmates' murder. Florida corrections workers were members of KKK plan to kill blacks. Florida authorities bust alleged Klan prison guard murder plot. That's one story. And 231 more articles, right? Then you've got article about Salon and white supremacy in Indiana. A white supremacist pleads not guilty in Kansas. That's March 29th. You've got Racism's of Sinister Word Games. That's a Salon article. Amazon, PayPal, and Spotify inadvertently fund white supremacist groups. March 17th. March 19th. Suspect in Mesa Rampage being called white supremacist. March 29th. 28th, excuse me. Alleged Wisconsin cop killer tied to white supremacists. I mean, this is all, look, this is, not only is all of the, this, though, all of the, not only are all of those news items, excuse me, about white supremacists, they're all within late March. None of them is prior to March, what, 17th, 16th? And yet, CNN would have you believe that the only terrorists on earth are connected with ISIS or Islamic radicals. That's absolutely crazy. And it just shows you how media is manipulated, but it also shows you why broadcast television, as we know it, is dying. It's because of this fixed news. We're not really getting the news that's out there. We're only getting a certain slant. Horrible stuff.